I do black hair or nappy hair whatever you want to call it I've been trying to do hair for a long time and for it to look like what it should look like on my drawings but uh, everything that I've gotten so far from others is uh, they get the edges pretty good and then in the middle it's, it's all a blob of paint and I didn't want that I wanted hair when I looked at it close and hair when I looked at it at a distance so sort of playing around with um, designing brushes I finally come up with this design th these three for black hair okay and I'll show you how that works now this uh, drawing for the hairbrush is 0.1 inch by 0.1 inch and you see there's a dot here and there's a dot here and a dot here and they're all the same size but they're about the size of a hair I actually measured it off of hair off of my face and uh, I put it on here so as I reduce it down or bring it up it should be the size of a hair so later I'm gonna do a tutorial of how I do black hair um, because some may say, well, you don't have to do all that and all that, but I do. Uh, there's a difference in being uh, an artist and knowing how to draw. I think if you know how to draw, fine, you can do it any way you want to. But if you want to be an artist and you want it to look and feel like how it's supposed to, then you have to put in the work. Now, here's a book that I'm working on. It's the Yellow Belt Manual. And I wanted a picture of a, a black girl going a sidekick. And I wanted to have an afro. Now, um, I'm going to show you how I build the hair. I build my hair from layers, from one layer to the other layer. As you see, um, this now, um, it looks like hair up close. As you can see, the, the hair here. And it looks like hair at a distance. And the reason for that is that brush that, I'm, that, I, that I made because when I see real hair it sort of looks like this this is real hair okay and you see all the confusion in there but that's the way real hair is real black hair and it's not just on the edges it's all the way through it's all the way through the, the, the hair the head um, so that's what I want on my um, for my drawings to make sure that when I do the drawing that it goes all the way through no matter where I go on this drawing you're gonna see that combination of confusion in, in the hair not just a blob and then on the ends where it will simulate black hair but I want it, when I draw it I want it all the way through so I'm gonna give you an example of how I do it Okay, first of all, I'm just going to show you the layers that I uh, use because if I try to show you the whole video or what I do, it's going to take like 45 minutes and you, you don't uh, need to see all that thing anyway to know what I do. Uh, first thing I do, you, you see here's the outline. I don't like outlines on my hair. So after I generate my hair, I delete the outline. So what I do, I come up with a, a, a hair layer and on that layer I choose my color then I take the brush and I go around the edges and just keep going around the edges with small uh, circular straight and whatever just zigzag whatever all the way through and you you'll notice that the hair begin to formulate or generate I, I take it all the way to that end now I say zigzag but I actually use sort of like a, a figure eight type of motion if you can see that get a little closer it's sort of a figure eight small 
just this all around just going in every direction that I can think of and that's going to give you the characteristics of black hair it really does um, so that's what I do it's sort of a figure eight zigzaggy type of movement so you can do that alright once I get that complete then uh, what I do is make another layer that I call my base color layer that's the base color some hair has a darker color at the bottom and then you know it goes it turns red or gray or whatever but you need that base color in order to bring out the essence of the hair that you're going to do so I have a base color uh, layer that I put it on this is my base color that's my base color now what I do when I put that color in I put it in the image of the the hair that's on my drawing and then let me delete that hair um, I take out the hair and you see on the base color I use an eraser uh, first I smudge the edges I smudge it all the way around and then I use an eraser uh, with an opacity of about 30 or less than 30 and I get rid of the edges all the way around because all I want is the, the quality of the hair even if you get close here being smudged you see some of the hair images still there so that's what I do smooth it out with a, with a um, smudge brush when I do smudge I just jiggle it like that I don't smear I don't do that I jiggle it all the way around and uh, comes out good and then I take the eraser and I go around it again okay the next thing I do then I begin to make my hair layers and this is a hair layer color this is a copy of that layer 